come up here, I feel like I just look crazier and crazier. It's so hot outside. It's so hot outside. It's supposed to be like 36 today or something like that. I think about 36 and I am hosting for the first time in my new apartment, a Sabbath dinner. And when I tell you that I'm excited, I am excited. Last night I cleaned the balcony. What I have to do now is I have to clean up here, start prepping the food, put the food in the oven, clean, shower, put the table, set it, decorate, all the stuff. I'll probably give you guys a montage now and maybe some more. So enjoy me. Welcome to my Ikea haul. I'm gonna go through it really quickly, but I got three of these little babies. They look so nice and so classic. It's basically tablecloths, and I think it's going to elevate the whole look of this dinner party. I'm so excited for these. It's like beige and has little tiny stripes on them. So I have three of those, three of those, three of those. And then I got another one of these water bottles. I already have one of these but i think for a dinner party of like 12 it's good to have that then i realized that i don't even have enough plates so i have eight plates and now i'll have 12 because we're a dinner party of 11 or 12 so super happy that they still have these okay what else i bought some decorations for the table so i got these there were nine shekels each and i got like eight of them what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put candles as a, oh hi butter i have my fake candles these ones in three different heights that i'm going to put on the table as a centerpiece and then these i'm gonna sort of like scatter on the ends of it we'll see how it goes but just to add a little pop of green and how can you not just buy good plain white what are these called? Napkins. And last but not least, wine glasses. I got 12 of them. I have maybe like four or something, but they're all different sizes. It's a bit funny. So I thought to myself, ah, butter. Cover yourself, butter. No, butter, don't go inside. <laughs> are you okay in there, butter? First person with a camera. I know. Behind you. Okay. 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 effect. <laughs> trying to I, I left with like a little bit of a mood you know just trying to be like you know what let everything go enjoy this evening it's okay it's very pretty in the museum of Yerushalayim 
Israel and uh, it's gonna be a fun night. I think this is literally the third time, third, third time that I'm documenting this for you guys and uh, it's just gonna be a whole lot of fun going into security and I'll see you on the other side. Guys, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. So what they do here is they basically give you samples. So maybe this much, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. And there's these stalls all around, if you can see. I'm gonna turn around, swivel around, and you can see. There's stalls all around. There's like a lower level as well. There's food here, there's desserts, there's live music. You can buy cheese, you can buy chocolates, you can buy, you know, all the yummy stuff. And it is a bit quieter here than last year, I feel. But nonetheless, we are having fun. wine festival basically every year that since I know so it's been quite a few years um, but that's it we are on our way home and uh, these are definitely the wrong shoes to wear today but cheers hi everyone I am on my way to the frame shop I'm going to get some things Framed. I have this one one box left of stuff that I want to frame. I'm like, it is time. So I asked a friend if he can come and help put it up for me. And we said, let's make a day of it. So we're inviting more friends. We're gonna make Japanese pancakes. Either way, I'm on my way. Truthfully, it was a bit emotional for me to put these pictures up and even to ask for help. And I think probably something in me was avoiding doing it because the moment you put something on the wall, there's something real about it. And the fact that I had pictures of my dad who is no longer here and suddenly he becomes a memory on a wall, there's something weird about it. But either way, I think that the moment you put things up on the wall, that is the last thing that you do for your house that makes it feel like a home and not just a house. And so I was super happy that people were willing to help me put these things up and I was even apprehensive asking for help because I always feel vulnerable. I always try and do everything on my own if I can and suddenly you need the help of someone else. And I was just very grateful that my friends were willing to come and help me. So that was wonderful. So I did that, I ran those errands and then I went to Yad Shmona, which is a very wonderful place where I used to work and meet a friend to see her newly renovated balcony and drink wine and just have a good time and it's always nice getting out of the city because the city is just so crammed and noisy and Yadashwuna is just tranquil and green and just quiet and peaceful. I made it! There's something about leaving Jerusalem that literally just feels like your whole body becomes calm. Because Jerusalem is a very intense place and city center is an intense place and my street is an intense place and so to be able to just get out of it a bit and see some green as you guys can see super super green Alpha 
Sarah's house. Uh, she's so sweet. I think her apartment is so sweet. And I really want to show you guys like how one of these little studio apartments looks like. Okay, so this is the outside. This is the outside. It's like basically like two like two little things and then downstairs over there where you can't see there's like another apartment. But it's like for one person it's really like it's enough and it's sweet and it's cool. I'm gonna show you guys the little balcony. I mean, would you look at this? Okay, so you have this bench that's super nice to sh just to sit and have a conversation. In Israel, a lot of times what happens is that we don't have enough space. And also just, would you look at that view? That's insane. That's an insane view. She gets to wake up to this view every single morning. Wow. We don't have a lot of space inside, so we often just put the laundry machines outside, the washing machines. And of course she has all these lovely plants, candles. And then this space over here is so nice with her plants and the candle. Okay, and then you walk in and she's like super efficient. So she has all of her stuff hanging like this. And when you come inside, look at this. It's just stunning. Let me swivel you around so you can see she has her closet. And look at all the falling plants. It's just stunning. A lovely bed, storage space, of course. A separation. Look at this. It's just like little, little perfect little spots that she can just sit and hang. And then over here she has a dining table. That's actually really smart. Her art space. She's an artist. And then who's this beauty? Ooh, I can't whistle to you. Wait, let me do it again. I love this. I love this. And she has a mazgan. That is the most wonderful thing. Back in the city, back in the chaos. It really is super crazy how, I don't even know if this is dry cement or not. I'm not walking on it. Um, but it really is super crazy how this city changes and how just things are torn down and put up instead of them. And it's just older things are being, you know, torn down and newer things are being rebuilt. And it really is chaotic and everywhere you go, and I mean everywhere you go, something is being renovated. It's just one of those things, you know? But look, in the end, it's really good that things are being rebuilt. I'm not complaining about that, but it can get overwhelming when you just want some peace and quiet. Anyways, I am heading back home by foot. Tomorrow, I have my little baby nephew with me for a few hours, and then we are going to make, oh my gosh, Look at, look at all of these, look at this. All of these watermelons and that's literally all they're selling. Anyways, I'm gonna hang out with my nephew for a few hours because my sister's doing something and um, we're gonna go to the park and I'm gonna have him at my house and it's just gonna be super, super chill. I'm a bit stressed with time because I didn't get to clean the house. I didn't get to really plan like all the stuff that I needed to buy, but like I'm sure that after my sister takes my nephew, then I'll just go ahead and buy the stuff at the market. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a nice stroll home and I will see you guys tomorrow. Here, I have a little human in my house. Well, first of all, enjoy this montage of me and my cute little nephew, Lavi, going to the playground and playing. He really is the cutest thing ever and he brings so much joy to the family. It's funny to have him inside my house because I don't have little tiny babies inside my house ever and it just fills the house with so much life and 
it really does do something to the heart when you have little kids around and I guess that brings me to talking about the fact that of course as you guys know I'm single and I don't have kids and at this point in life I would have preferred to already be married and have kids and yet the situation is not like that and I'm trying to stay on the positive side always and just be like you know what God has his timing there is literally a time for everything under the sun and that doesn't mean though that I can't enjoy a bit of those things even not being married and so the fact that my nephew is so sweet and so you know he's just the best thing ever it gives me as an aunt the opportunity to express my maternal self even if I don't have that and so literally just trying to look at the positive in everything and trust that God has his timing for me to find my person and for me to have my own family and really him being inside my house gives that feeling of you know what this is a bit more of a home and not just a house and I'm grateful for that I'm grateful for that and I just love the fact that he gives the family so much joy also listen to this little laugh of his it's so cute <laughs> Dan, say hello to mom. <laughs> We've done that joke before, I can't. Uh... I know, it's still funny. <laughs> Shachar, of course, helping me put the things up. So I have, yeah, I have all of these photos. I hope it's okay. Let's be shadow of me. I've done absolutely nothing today. They're just figuring everything out for me. <laughs> yes. Let me give you a grand. Wait a second. Let me give you a grand surprise. <laughs> that didn't work so well, but let me show you. Guys, look at that. They really, they just created a literal work of art. Ta-da! Then, don't mind like what's on it. This will all change, but the shelf, the floating shelf. Props to LT. You guys know LT. And to Ezra for first time putting that up. Yay! It's Sabbath. Everything is calm. I cleaned the house like crazy. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oops, you can't see it. That is the last box of this apartment. And I'm so happy to get rid of it. I'm so thankful for my friends that are helping me. Okay, guys, it has been lovely. I have loved hanging out with you guys. If you are new here, then welcome and feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. I love you and I'll see you guys in a vlog <laughs> very soon. Right, Bunny? Right. Uh -huh.